My name is Eric and today I'm going to be showing you how to make a tailor rig and I'm also going to take you fishing with me today in Florida Drain in Perth which is about four kilometers away from Scarborough Beach Hotel about one kilometer away from City Beach. The drain is a popular spot for people in the area um, who like to fish for tailor. Um, my best opinion to go is uh, first thing in the morning or at last light. Um, I'm also going to show you two websites um, that are pretty good for um, fishing tips. So one is about the weather report. It's called seabreeze.com and it gives you your tidal uh, direction, wind direction, wave, height, um, everything you really need to know. It's pretty useful. Um, I've been fishing in Florida Train for the last two years and um, the sizes for tailor range between 30 centimeters and up to 60, 70 uh, depending um, well, on what you catch. Um, so yeah, so stick with me. Uh, I'm going to be showing you those two websites. I'm going to show you the rig that we're going to be using for the tailor, and um, our bait of the day today is going to be muleys on gang hooks. And um, so that's it. Yeah. So stay tuned, and we'll be showing you that video of the actual Florida drain this evening, where to fish, and uh, on the gutters, uh, where the car park is, walking through the track, uh, pretty much everything you need to know uh, about fishing in Florida drain. Okay. Thank you. Hi there. So today we're going to be going fishing in Florius Drain in Perth and I'm going to be fishing for Taylor and uh, here is one of the rigs that I'm going to use. Um, so I'm going to make the rig for you and then we're going to go fishing this evening and I'll show you where to go. Um, I'm going to show you the gutters, uh, parking spots um, and just a little bit of the fishing and hopefully we catch something. So today you're going to be needing one fluoro bead, red, um, a size 2 star sinker, 55 grams, and ganged hooks, 1.0. Okay. And a triple swivel, if we've got one. Yeah, so you have your triple swivel there. So you'll have your uh, main line, then you have your leader, and then you'll have your gang hooks coming off the side. Um, okay. So I'm going to make it now for you, and then I'm going to show you what it looks like after. Okay, so I finished making my rig. As you can see, I've used a triple swivel, and then that leads down to your fluoro bead, and then onto your gang hooks 1.0. And then from there, I put on a star sinker, and I actually used a snap swivel. And a snap swivel will allow me to change my sinker depending on the current of the day. Okay, so there you go, star sinker, snap swivel, all the way up to your gang, up to your triple swivel. And then the triple swivel leads to the fluorocarbon lead and the gang hooks. Okay, now I'm going to actually show you where. Uh, the Florida drain is so as you can see from here I'm using Google Maps um, so this is the actual drain itself right there uh, I'll just zoom in a bit so it's there and it's right across from let's say um, uh, Chipping Road and it's about a kilometer away from the Scarborough Beach Hotel and there's actually um, a car park right there and you'll, I'll be showing you later on today when we park there and we'll be walking along this track and you can fish either that side or that side of the drain. Um, particularly I always fish at this side. Um, I've had a lot more uh, luck on that side. Um, there's a gutter right there. And um, when I was saying about uh, when I was using the, the rig I was using, a lot of people put the star sinker on the top and the gang hooks on the bottom. But in my opinion, um, tailor are predator fish. So if you've got your um, star sinker at the top of your rig um, it's just going to weigh it down and it, you're not going to get much movement out of your um, muleys um, so like I said um, stick to the rig that I'm using um, and I've had a lot of luck with it I'm pulling tailor between 30 and 50 centimeters and I've been fishing here now for about two years um, so yeah um, so like I said that's the drain there it's in Flores uh, about a kilometer away from Scara um, yeah and this is also another website I use, it's called Seabreeze. 
Um, it actually gives you the current of the day, uh, the tide, the wind direction. So as you can see from today is Thursday the 7th, uh, it gives you your weight height in meters, it gives you your wind speed and all that kind of stuff. So today is looking pretty good. Um, we're having wind and waves of 1.3 meters, wind, not much wind there. Um, but we got an overcast day and we had a bit of uh, rain and wind last night so hopefully that pushed a bit of the bigger fish in. Alright, so it's seabreeze.com.au uh, and Floria Drain, like I said, it is a kilometre away from Scarborough Beach Hotel and it's on the old coast, what's it called again? Um, just across from Chipping Road, there's a car park. Uh, other websites to look out are for fishwrecked.com.au um, a lot of the guys there will give you uh, a lot of help um, if you're struggling. Okay, so the next video I'm going to be showing you is uh, us fishing below the Florida drain today, and hopefully, we get some uh, fish for Taylor. Okay, so we're just coming up to Florida drain, and as you can see, it's across from the Wembley golf course so we're going to be going in over there at the other side we're just coming off the main road uh, okay so we're just coming up to it right now okay so we're just coming up to the kiosk the cafe and we're going to turn right I'm going to head down the road so as you can see it's just off West Coast Highway across from the Webley golf course turn off we're going to be heading down the road and we're going to take the second car park on the left this is a nice little drive a lot of people come running and walking and cycling down here uh, gets away from the busy traffic as you can see there's someone actually running on the road as we speak so we're just coming up to it now and we're in the car park Down in case you thought I was recording her. So as you can see, this is the car park. You want to be pretty careful coming in here because sometimes there's backpackers and they leave glass bottles on the ground. And it's a little bit bumpy. So you can see, there's already somebody here. So we're in some zone access to the track number 12. It's just a bit bumpy at the moment. So as you can see. It's number 12, and this is the car park, and that's the entrance there behind the four wheel drive. So, as you can see, we're walking down the track that leads back down to the car park, and the drain is right in front of us. Okay, so that's you. Got a few one meter, 1.5 meter waves today, which is not so bad. Just got to cast out beyond the break. So it should be good fishing conditions today, and hopefully, we'll catch some tailor. And uh, I'll just show you my bait and the rod that I've set up. We're ready to go. Got a nice overcast evening this evening. It's so like I said, go to the seabreeze.com.au, check out the weather report. Also, go to fishwreck.com, sign up, talk to the guys on the site, they'll give you plenty of information. So, as you can see, that's the drain. You can go to the right hand side or you can go to the left hand side. Particularly, I like to go right here, just a small bit away from the drain itself and you can see right down there right down there is Scarborough Beach Hotel which is about four kilometers away what a beautiful evening 
Life doesn't get any better. Get out of the office and get some fishing. Get that line wet. So like I said, we're going to be using muleys, whole muleys. And we're going to be using them on our rod, on our gang hooks. And you're going to place them on the hooks and cast out. So like I said, there's a drain, there's a big huge gutter there, fish away and hopefully you catch something. There we go, and in City Beach down there, just a little yonder. So yeah, there you go. So if I catch something, I'll put up the video, but it's pretty hard, I'm on my own. <laughs> 